Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Today I have for you my first ever haul since moving and I have quite a bit of stuff. So if you want to see what I got, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the LOLs because I have tons and tons and tons of lols so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you at random as always i'm gonna put where i got them and the price on the bottom of the screen because i did want to let you guys know that i have been collecting this stuff for over two months and i'm just now getting around to filming the first one that i have is this lol movie magic series i have several of these so watch out for a video on this then I have these LOL surprise dance 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 dolls again I have several of these that I picked up so watch out for a video then I have these LOL world tour series I'll go ahead and throw up a picture of what it looks like with the wrapping but I wanted to see who came in these so I picked one up opened it up and now I have a few so definitely stay tuned for a video on these as well I have only one, and this is the only one, of these LOL All-Star BBs, and this is the Summer Games. I have had the hardest time getting my hands on these. I've only been able to find them on Amazon, but recently I was in Target, and I saw a whole display of these, so hopefully I can pick up some more, because I've only ever opened up two of these i think and i definitely want the full collection i have however been able to find these lol surprise all-star sports winter game series in store and online in my local targets i've only been able to find the ones with this doll on it but i actually did an order on amazon for one of their deals of the day and you don't really get to pick which ones you got but luckily enough i was able to get the other girl that makes up the second half of like who you could get in the series and i got two of these then i was able to find this set randomly at one of the stores I went to. This is the series two of the BFF Sweetheart collection. I did pick up the ones last year, but I never managed to open them on video. But here is the girl, and then here is the boy that goes with this. So I'm really excited. I think these are so very, very cute. So definitely look out for a video on these as well. I also managed to pick up just a few of the series four of the LOL boys. I did want a few of them in series three, but after I looked at who you could get, I decided to go with four because there's more of them that I wanted in this one than the series three and I have actually managed to pick up several of these I didn't realize how many I had but it turns out I bought some when I first moved here my boyfriend's actually picked some up for me as well but these are the lol surprise confetti reveal winter chill and these are from last year and these are really cool I actually already opened one but like I said I have several others so definitely watch out for a video on these ones as well and then the last two things I actually picked up recently they are actually the lol surprise boys arcade heroes and actually I only wanted the girls from both series so yesterday I picked up this series too and I didn't even know there was a series too but this one's very very cute like I said I do only want the girls from this so goal completed and then I also managed to pick up the series one if you could see that and it is the only girl as well and this was also one of those Amazon deals of the day so I didn't get to pick who I wanted but like I said the girls are the only ones I want from these series and I was so excited when I opened this and I got her so that's all for the lols so now we'll go ahead and move on to everything else that's non lol related so let's go ahead and get started with that Okay, so I had to scoot the camera back just a little bit to show you the next three things. Right before I moved, I did manage to pick up one of these Nana Na teens. I didn't realize that there was a sticker here, so let me grab another one. So I did manage to pick up this little raccoon girl. And then I've been looking for the other three girls because I only collect the girls. I think that the point of these dolls is their hair and the boys just don't have enough hair for me. That's the only reason I don't collect those. But I wanted to get all the series two teen girls. So I managed to pick up the other three that I needed. So I managed to pick up this, I think her name's Lilia Lamb. She is very cute. I'm so excited to have her. I was also able to pick this Amelia Outback up. And then one of the very first things I ever bought when I was here was the one that I wanted the most. And it is this Alaska Frost. So I am so in love. I'm so excited that I'm finally showing you guys these because I'm really excited to finally get to open these. So now we're going to go back to a bunch of little blind boxes that I've recently picked up as well. I did pick up only one of these Disney Pixar's Turning Red series one collectible minifigures blind boxes i actually already opened it up and i don't know if i'm a fan of it so i don't know if i'll get more of these unless they go on sale just because this was quite expensive i'll go ahead and show you which one i got and actually she was the only one i really didn't want but it is this little may happy one i was really hoping for one of the pandas i mean she's not the worst i really love the movie i really enjoyed it but this just isn't one that i wanted the next few things that i picked up were these care bears surprise collectible figures 
and there are 10. I did end up picking up a whole box of these because I think I have figured out a code to get the entire collection. So look out for a video on these as well. I'm really excited. Care Bears are one of my favorite things in the world. So hopefully I get that full collection. I've also been picking up a bunch of these Micro Mart Real Littles. I think this might be series two, honestly. I've been picking some up. My boyfriend's been picking me some up. I absolutely love these. This isn't my favorite series. I definitely like the first series a lot better, just better quality, but I've been picking these up as well. And there are actually a new series out. So I believe this is series three. This is the Micro Mart Real Littles. And this is the one that has a bunch of the Haribo products. So the gummy bears and stuff like that and I'm obsessed with gummy bears, so that's why I've been picking up a few of these as well. The next few things I honestly never thought I would get into, I've seen so many of them before this collaboration, but something about it this time around, since I moved to a new place and my collection of collectibles isn't as big, I thought, why not just jump in the deep end and go for it? So I have a bunch of these real little backpacks, but they're the Disney collaboration. So like I said, I never ever thought I would collect them, but something about them was screaming just, get them because I've seen several videos of people saying how hard it is to pick these up but next time I go to a Walmart or Target I will show you how many are still left on the shelves because I know that this series the one with the Aladdin is like this second series but the first one is still in stores the second one's still in stores so I thought I might as well get them so here is the Disney Aladdin one I have the Moana one I have the 101 Dalmatian one I have this Mickey Mouse one this one might be one of my favorites I don't really know I don't know if I have a favorite but I definitely love this one I have this Sully one and this is actually what started the collection my boyfriend saw it and thought you have to have this so he picked this up for me and I love this one a lot Monsters Inc and Monsters Monsters University, definitely one of my favorite Disney Pixar movies. And then I saw this one and I knew I had to have it. Absolutely adorable. It is this Toy Story real little backpack, but it's the alien. And I think this one is just so precious. And then the last one that I actually picked up, and this is the first one I bought. Like I said, the Sully one is the first one that I got, but it was a gift for my boyfriend. This is the first one I purchased. It is this Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington one. And this is one that I saw on Instagram and people were saying how much they were looking for it. And when I went to my Target, they had so many of these, so I thought might as well pick it up. There are a few other ones that I'm looking for. I'll throw up the pictures. I don't know if I want to get them, but I feel like I need them. So I'm really excited to open these. So definitely stay tuned and definitely subscribe so you'll see all these unboxed. All right, friends, so that's absolutely everything that I have for this video. Like I said, I've been collecting this stuff for about two to two and a half months, so it definitely hasn't been something I've gotten all at once. I've definitely had to spend my money wisely. A lot of the times I have price matched in store to Amazon, which is the best thing. I did want to let you guys know that I was actually in Target yesterday, and for the entire two and a half months I've been here, I've been able to price match to Amazon. But yesterday, this checkout lady argued with me that they don't price match to Amazon, on. I just asked if I could speak to a manager so I could know their policy and it turns out that they do not price match to Amazon Prime. I don't know when that changed because like I said I was in there two days before yesterday and no problem but she did explain to me that the reason they don't price match to Amazon Prime is because it's not something that's available to everyone but me and my boyfriend discussed that Amazon Prime doesn't really change the price of things it changes the shipping. So if you were going to get something on Saturday Amazon Prime would allow you to get it like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday depending on a Prime day but just to throw that out there they never have or no longer do price match to Amazon Prime so what I figured out how to do it is just log out of your Amazon Prime on like a web browser on your phone and then pull up the product and they'll price match it I think I haven't tried it yet but next time I do a haul I'll definitely let you guys know but other than that that's absolutely everything I have for this video I'm so excited to get back into the groove of things filming and hopefully here soon I can do some more unboxings I did forget that along with this haul I had actually purchased the L well, Spring Bling 2022 limited edition. If you haven't seen that video, which I already opened them, I'll definitely link it in the iCard as well as the description. That was my very first unboxing since moving and I had so much fun with it. So definitely give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel and I know that you guys are still interested in what I'm doing. Don't forget to leave any comments down below of what you would like to see open first because I really don't know what to pick. And then don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on that notification bell because as you can see, I have so much amazing stuff to open. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends!